So patients come into the office and they'll say, fix this, fix this, fix this, fix this. And of course I can fix it. But if you're looking for seamless, natural, ongoing results, today's video is for you. Do you remember as a kid learning about the explorers? And do you remember Ponce de Leon? He's the guy who was looking for the fountain of youth and instead discovered Florida. For many retirees, Florida is the fountain of youth. I know my parents enjoy their time there, but it turns out that Ponce de Leon wasn't necessarily looking for the fountain of youth when he discovered Florida. This was a story, some historians think, that was crafted many years after his death in order to discredit him as a vain man, a quality which was not admirable in men at that time. But we still seek that fountain of youth, don't we? Not because we wanna be little girls again or because we reject wisdom or because we want to fight nature in some way. The fountain of youth is a little bit about having our cake and eating it, right? We wanna be better, more experienced, more confident, but we want to look and feel in that way that projects the qualities of youth, vim, vigor, energy, happiness, the sense of limitless possibilities. So let's talk about being beautiful forever. Do you see this picture of Chia Mikado, born 1928? Smoking. Or how about Lena Horne? Amazing. And Audrey Hepburn, classic. You know, I don't know what procedures, if any, these women had. It, it doesn't even really matter. But the point is that they project a certain agelessness, a beauty, a, cer a certain quality of looking forever young despite their age. And that is possible today. So three things. First, start early. I get plenty of 20-somethings who come into the office and they're not ready yet for most of the medical aesthetic procedures that I offer. This is a time to start thinking about really great skincare. Sunscreen, you've heard me say it 100 times, I'll say it 100 more times, year-round sunscreen is key. Other products, alpha hydroxy acids, a solid moisturizer, a great vitamin C product. If you keep up with your skin ahead of time, stay ahead of it, protect from, against sun damage, you will have amazing skin for a lifetime. That's the investment you can make when you're in your 20s. By the time a woman gets into her 30s or 40s, this is the time to start considering some of the medical aesthetic techniques, Botox, collagen stimulators, um, some fillers as necessary, the point is to get ahead of things before they happen. Those 40-something stars, the ones you don't read about in plastic surgery articles, the ones who just look great and you read about how graciously they're aging, this is what they're doing. They're getting ahead of things before they start. Number two, do less. So if you start early, you don't need to do as much because there isn't as much to do. You look more natural, you look more elegant, you look like your relatives, and that's a win-win. Number three, do it more often. Upkeep and maintenance are the way to win. You can't go to the gym a couple times a year and expect to be fit, and you can't have a horrible diet and expect to consume the occasional green juice and expect to feel healthy. Today, regular use of excellent skincare and judicious use of today's medical aesthetic therapies are how you can keep that beautiful face for a lifetime. So there you have it, the fountain of youth. Ponce never found it. He may not even have been looking for it. It might still exist in Florida. Maybe it's even in my parents' garden. But if you start early, do less, and do it often, you'll have it. Leave your comments below, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to come back next week. Bye for now. The problem is, this is not a global solution. So what we end up with is focal placement of, these, of this gel, but other areas